And welcome back. I just finished mining, mining this corundum. So where we left on, off on the last video, uh, we were discussing uh, the Yogg's cast and their scandal involving Yogg Ventures. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Yogg Ventures was a um, game that they were supposed to be developing uh, that was actually quite similar to Minecraft with many of their favorite, um, you know, added in tweaks that they normally like to do. And it, it just goes to show that, you know, you never can tell about these things. Oh, look. Hello, bandits. Having a nice time. Let's continue the good fight. Oh yeah, you submit and then they kill you. Like a bitch. Yep. Yeah, you say I submit and then they kill you like a bitch. There ain't no point in submitting. You know what I don't get about submission in Skyrim? Every time one of these bandits says, I submit, and is brought to their knees, usually after one or two strikes with a powerful weapon, there's never anything... There's never anything, and I mean anything, that just stops them from getting back up and trying to kill you after... What, what the hell's that, the point? I mean... You submit. Oh, well, that's just fantastic. But you're still trying to get up and kill me. So what the hell? Wow, that is impressive. <laughs> well, we know who this is, don't we? It's Cicero! Wait a minute, why the hell is there a Dawnstar guard here? This isn't Dawnstar! You need something? No. Ah, bother and be fuddled! Oh, poor Cicero is stuck! Hmm. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother! Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But... Wagon wheel, damnedest wagon wheel! It broke. Don't you see? Ah, a broken wheel, Cicero. Oh, oh, oh yes! <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius mm. farm. Just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me. Yeah. He won't. He refuses. Uh, convince Loris to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. Ah, well. Let's uh, let's go convince Loris to help Cicero move his mother. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? Hmm. That Cicero fella? Huh, tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. <laughs> And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. Could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. Mm. Well, there is something. There's a guard patrols the road that crazy jester is on. He passes by pretty often. You could report the fool. You know, say he's done something against the law. Ugh. That will at least get rid of him for me. What do you say? 
Huh, fine, suit yourself. No. You're wrong anyway. Just look at the fool. I don't know what it is, but he's damn well guilty of something. Yeah. I thought we talked enough. Unless you've reconsidered my offer. That Cicero needs sorting. Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. Yeah. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Okay. Very nice. Uh, you know what? I wonder what implications this would have had. Because if the guard decided to arrest Cicero, then he wouldn't be able to appear in a different quest that we know him from. By the way, Charlie, you should... Uh, actually, never mind. You won't be able to see this. I'll have to mark it for you, though. Yeah, this is the uh, thing I was telling you about a while back. Oh, poor mother! Her new home seems so very far. You... you did? Yay! He has? Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero... Don't be calling me a stranger, Cicero! My mother thanks you. Call me the listener! <laughs> Gold. A few coins for your kind deed. And thank you, thank you again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, poor mother. Hmm? Uh, I will wait for Laureus. Oh, yes. Mother and I will wait right here, right here. Okay, have fun with that, Cicero. And steer clear of that Dawn Guard guard. I don't know why he's within view of Whiterun for some odd reason. <laughs> I mean, granted, this is the path to Dawn Guard, but... Wait, did I just say Dawn Guard? It, Dawn Star. Dawn Star Guard, yeah. Okay. So, moving along... Actually, how's our weight look? Yeah, we should go and drop some weight before we try anything else. Yeah, I'll use this as our uh, little stopover here. Yeah, this is a guard outpost. You know, you would think they would build up these walls. Let's head back into White Run. <sighs> they are trouble, Argonian. Now be quiet, guard. Nobody cares about you and your ass. Thor's shop is closed. Why is it always nighttime by the time I fast travel back into White Run? Hmm. There we go. Why is Bellathor's goods still locked? It's supposed to be inside. Is it locked? Is Bellathor... Is Bellathor dead or something? Wait, is that Bellathor? Was that Bellathor just walking out? I think that was.
Up, uh, up. Nope. That was Servio Pelagia. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Well met, Traveler. Ah! Bellathor's open, finally. Got something for just about everybody in here. I should hope so! Everything's for sale. Take a look. Take a look. Hmm. Damn it, Bellathor, why do you have so little by way of stuff? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I mean, I have plenty of gold, but... Take a look. What? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Hmm. No, I would I would call all of this junk. Literally all of it is junk. How do you get off calling any of this crap junk? <laughs> A treasure, rather. Well, you can't buy anything else of mine cuz you're flat broke, Bellathor. God damn it. Wait all that time just for you to open up, only for your dumb ass to not have anything worth buying or enough gold to sell. I'd be a lot more. Hmm. Actually, no. Travel the Dragon's Reach. I need to pick up Lydia for this next one. Servants? Lydia! Where are you, man? There you are. I am your sword and your shield. Lead the way. Let's go. Actually, let me take a look if Faringar has got any spells for sale since I have so much money. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Bound battle axe, bound sword, candlelight, choking grass. Indrick, fast healing. Ooh. Mm, nah. nah. I haven't really been using any of that. Hmm. Ice spike. Soul trap. Summon Indrick. Turn lesser undead. Stone flesh. Uh, actually, muffle's a pretty good spell. I should buy that. Yeah, good for sneaking. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College of Winter. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I could sell the spell tome for fl of flames. There's a tranquility in magic, don't you think? Take a look. Hmm. Should do bound sword, candlelight. Fast healing wouldn't hurt. Firebolt. Frostbite. I don't think I even have frostbite. Healing hands. Hmm. Mage light. And stone flesh, yeah and turn lesser undead. All of those Remember, spells... Your mind is the best weapon. Uh, my mind is the best weapon, yes. yes you have. Mm K. 
Okay. Let's uh, add all those spells that I have to my favorites bar. Let's go, Lydia. We have some little shits to curb stomp. Huh? Ah, and it appears we are approaching the mark. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.